In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the Bunch Tight End Formation in Madden 23. If you want to get my entire Bunch Tight End Offensive ebook, make sure to join my Patreon. that will be linked down in the description below. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the Bunch Tight End. And it's a great way to take your Madden game to the next level. All right, guys, so we're in the Detroit playbook today, taking a look at Bunch Tight End. We're actually going to flip this because I have a left-handed quarterback. And we're going to go over our base play. Now, PA Boot Over is kind of... It's going to be our base foundational play. And there's a lot that you can really do with this play. Really, the majority of our concepts are going to be found built within this play. It has great blocking. It also has great routes. If you take a look at this, you have this really nice little crossing route to CD Lamb. You have a nice crosser, and you have a nice deep post. What I like to do with this play, fairly simple, we're going to take our tight end, and we're going to put him on a post. And then we're just going to take Christian Kirk here, and we're going to put him on a flat route or a whip route as you can see right here um and then we're just gonna snap the ball you can motion this receiver out or leave him in if you want but i like this deep post to be motioned outside and what you're going to see is it's going to create a really, really good slant post combo. This is an incredible man beater. I believe that every offense really needs to have um, a shallow cross concept. Now, I actually talk about uh, for completely free in the uh, in my ebook on the five steps to passing like a pro, the five step passing system um, that will walk you through all the concepts that I think you need to have in your offense. And um, we actually talk about this as being one of the number one concepts this year. And really has been one of the number one concepts year in and year out. As you can see right here, having that post to come back across the formation is really critical to attacking man-to-man -man coverage. And then you also have this little crosser uh, to CeeDee Lamb. Now, again, you could put a little five-yard out route or whip route to that other receiver. But really the main route on the play is that slant post concept. Now, this slant post or shallow concept is also really good against any kind of zone. Um this is why I like to make sure to motion this receiver outside because what you're going to notice is when you motion that receiver outside, he's just going to do a better job of pulling zones and allow you to have this little pocket right in that little seam right there to be able to attack a lot of different zone defenses. Now, if the user decides, hey, I've got to go user the tight end because the tight end is just killing me. I can't let them keep throwing the ball to the tight end. Then what you're going to be able to do with this play is now the middle of the field is going to be open. And this route to CD Lamb is actually super glitchy. It's able to get open against pretty much any underneath zone. As you saw right there, that was a quarter flat zone that it was able to get underneath. But if I go to a hard flat, you're going to notice a couple things here. What I can easily do is basically just high ball and kind of pass lead it up. And I can get that little ag catch. Another thing that I can do uh, with this route to CeeDee Lamb, though, is just, again, if they climb with that, with that tight end route, even if – they have hard flats on the field. You're going to notice here that I can throw this ball right in that little pocket right in there. As you can see, as soon as the user vacates the middle of the field, that becomes an opening. Now, you can also kind of freestyle a little bit out of this play and create uh, little different layers of it. So now we're going to put CeeDee Lamb on the out route, and we're going to put Christian Kirk on a slant. If they start to uh, kind of take away your little crosser, your little shallow route, Try putting a little slant route out there. It's going to get open. It's going to get in a different space uh, of the field against your opponent. Now, the real beauty of bunch tight end is you can run the same concept from multiple different ways. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to streak our tight end. We're going to leave this crosser or put a little uh, tight end apprentice or slot apprentice post. And then we're going to put that out route to CD Lamb, and we're going to motion Tyreek Hill across. And now we're going to have the same basic concept. It's just different levels of which we're able to attack. So as you can see right here, as I got terrible accuracy, um, hot, you can now kind of flip flop it and essentially just attack it a different in a different light. So that's the idea with this. So again, if they ever do like get super, um, they they just start to really defend your slant post. I would try to do something like this and kind of flip-flop which who's on the deeper route. As you can see there, the crosser's open, the slant's open across the middle. Sometimes that's all it takes to really mess somebody up and mess their user up um, is just something simple like that. Now, again, this whole purpose of this play is primarily to have something that is really effective against man coverage. Now, another little pro tip with this play that I actually think is super underrated is to motion Christian Kirk across 
and go ahead and throw him on a fade. The reason you want to do something like this from time to time is it just kind of helps pull these zones back, and then you can playmaker CD Lamb up if they're starting to really you know be able to handle this horizontally. So it just kind of adds a layer uh, to this concept. But again, this is one of the best man beaters in the entire game. You'll see here this this these crossers are just so good um, at consist and consistent at attacking man-to-man -man coverage. It's what makes Bunch tight end one of the better formations in the game still. And the beauty of this is you can audible into trips. You can audible into Bunch tight end. We're in the Lions playbook running this today. You can kind of have a little bit of an audible around type of piece as well, um, you know, where you can catch them in bad defenses and, you know, take advantage of that. So I like to, if I was running this, honestly, um, what I would recommend is coming out in Bunch Maybe even bunch flipped, for example. But let's say you come out in bunch, and then you're going to audible cross to bunch tight end, put your tight end on the post, put that slot receiver on a flat, and then you're going to be able to quick snap it and kind of, again, just prevents them from being able to make a lot of adjustments and just increases the likelihood that it's going to be an effective concept for you. Guys, if you want to learn the rest of the bunch tight end offense, make sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. The link is in the description below.